music lovers. Rick Ferguson, rickfergusonmusic.com. Uh, thanks so much for joining me for this mini COVID concert number three. Uh, we'll be focusing on a piece by uh, Frédéric Chopin, uh, specifically one of his piano etudes. Uh, you know, the, the 24 etudes that Chopin composed, his Opus 10, Opus 25 etudes, really revolutionized piano playing. You know, here we're talking about, oh, the, the first third or so of the 19th century. Well, at that time, the piano had finally started to evolve into much more of the instrument that we know today. And who do we have to thank for that in great part? Well, it's Beethoven. Uh, you know, Beethoven placed so many demands on uh, piano builders during his lifetime. Uh, you know, wanting a more durable instrument wanting an instrument capable of, of producing a much wider spectrum of sounds from soft to loud, wanting a piano that had a much more sensitive uh, touch uh, to it and would be able to respond uh, to many more nuances in terms of sound creation, uh, expanding the range of the piano from, from higher to lower. You know, to a great extent, we have Beethoven to, th to thank for that. So thank you, Beethoven, because by the time that, that we get to Chopin, uh, you know, he has at his disposal a, a very, very different instrument than just a generation previous. Uh, so we have these uh, absolutely uh, unique, brilliant pieces uh, that, first of all, give us a very clear glimpse into, uh, into piano playing in the first third or so of the 19th century, but more specifically, uh, they are a manual for not only developing a, a wonderful, a sound technical foundation, but there is so much incredible musicality in all of these etudes. Uh, so, it, it, in a way, still, for very good reason, remains uh, sort of the bar uh, in terms of composing etudes for the piano. And I would, I would argue etudes for, for any instrument. You know, we, we had all this incredible uh, evolution of, of instrumental playing from a technical standpoint and, and musical substance, uh, you know, during the first half in particular, of the 19th century. Very exciting time. So, I would like to share with you the fourth etude, the C-sharp minor etude from the first set, the Opus 10. Uh, you know, C-sharp minor uh, in Chopin's writings was always a, a very, very intensely uh, combustible key. But also, there was the other side that was very, very tender. So, you know, if, if you think, even spiritual in a way, if you think of the, uh, the C-sharp minor scherzo by Chopin, you know, there, there is that certain uh, element of intensity to it, but, uh, but there is this wonderful uh, chorale tune that just uh, imbues the entire... Uh, scared so with with almost a magical quality. The uh, C sharp minor prelude, his Opus forty five, is one of the the more lyrical pieces that Chopin wrote, and and is uh, just so beautifully tender and expressive. And and then you have pieces like this C sharp minor etude, which is a, a very fiery piece. And a, a wonderful piece to work on just in terms of balancing motion between the two hands and passage work, oftentimes in rather awkward keys. Uh, so here is the C-sharp minor etude from Opus 10 by Frederick Chopin. Enjoy. Thank you. 
hope you enjoyed that. Would you imagine that a piece like that would be composed by a very sickly, chronically uh, individual who by stature was was very slight uh, and and really for the most part not well. You know, Chopin, even from a very early age, uh, was always succumbing to various illnesses and indeed he he didn't see his 40th year he was taken uh, by tuberculosis and so uh, you know he was he was constantly battling various physical maladies uh, throughout his lifetime yet he was writing music that was so incredibly expressive passionate revolutionary not just in terms of of Chopin's own feelings uh, about, uh, at that time, the Polish independence uh, movement. He was a revolutionary composer, but also revolutionary in terms of really moving the art of piano playing so much further along in a very, very short time. So, uh, Chopin, thank you, and thank all of you for listening. Uh, if you have any requests, uh, please just let me know, rickfergusonmusic.com. I love exploring this music, and I love sharing what I find with you. So take care. Be well. Bye-bye.